All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about the drug approval process and how drugs are, specifically how they're approved and the amount of time that it takes for them to be approved and how long the patent is good for on the drug. Um, the first part of the testing is, begins with animals. And so that's how they first, so they make a drug, they first test it on animals, and then they, that's when they, then after that succeeds, then they proceed to the clinical trials. Um, they're going to do testing on a small group of people for a small amount period of time, but beforehand they're, they're known f the risks of taking the medication. So they have to sign a waiver. Sometimes you might hear about it on the radio like, hey, if you want to be part of this clinical drug study, let us know and we'll pay you for your time and pay you. So they, they have those kind of things on the radio that they can do. Um, but then there's also something that they do when they do the studies. It's called the placebo drug. And this is going to be um, one that looks exactly like the, the real medication, but it doesn't have any of the active ingredients in it. So just to see if it's just going to be a psychological thing or if it actually indeed works. Um, then there's also a double-blind study where the patient nor the physician knows that who's receiving which medication um, just to see if it'll work and if it doesn't work. Um, drugs are never tested on children until it passes all these steps from adults. Now there's going to be three different phases of the drug approval process. The first one, it involves 20 to 100 patients for several months and is mainly concerned with the safety of the drug. So this is just to make sure that no one dies from taking the medication. Phase two involves hundreds of patients and may take up to two years to complete. And this is to make sure that the drug is effective. So after they find out it doesn't kill anybody. They're going to make sure that it's or it's not going to harm anybody. Um, that's when they make sure that it's actually going to do what they think it's going to do. Um, and that can take up to two years. Um, the third one, the third phase, involves thousands of patients for one to four years to make the final evaluation of what dosage is needed, what the effectiveness of the drug is, and also of its safety. So the third and final stage, they're going to be doing, they're going to make sure that the drug is safe, like the first phase does, they're going to make sure that it's effective like the second phase does, and the third, and the, in addition to all those, it's going to find out what dosage is needed. So whether it's going to be 20 milligrams, 10 milligrams, um, those are just examples of what it could be. So as you can see here, you know, we can just assume that, okay, phase one takes one year, phase two takes up to two years, phase three can take up to four years. So that's a total of seven years that it could take from start to finish to see if the, before the drug gets out on the market. When the drug comes out on the market, that's going to be known. That's going to be known as the brand drug. Let me get rid of these real quick. So that's going to be known as a brand drug. And that's like the original basically the original drug. Um, so once the drug is approved, it's going to be it's going to have a patent of 20 years. So the brand is going to be the only drug that does what it says it does for 20 years. Now sometimes because the 7 years is such a long process, they might prorate it. So instead of 20 years, let's just say it could be a 13 year a 13 year um, patent. But, of, of course, initially it's going to be the 20 years. Um, now, after the 20 years is up, that's when anybody else can come out with a, with a drug that's the generic. So generic is going to be like, you know, you have some, I don't know, maybe the generic cereals where you have the brand cereals or you have, you know, for Dr. Pepper, you have Dr. Pepper's the brand, but maybe Dr. Thunder's the generic. So that's just an example of how it is with drugs. Um, and then, but what, it had, what the generic needs to do is it needs to make sure that it's the same drug, the same dose, the same form, and the same route of administration. So I'll go ahead and write those out. So it's the same drug, 
the same drug, same dose, same form, and same route. If any of these differ, it could technically be a brand drug. Now, the generic drugs don't need to go through all of what, all the testing that the brand did because if all these things are the same, if all these things are the same, then there's really no need to. Um, and that's when this other book comes in handy that's going to tell you whether it's going to be bioequivalent. And that book is known as the Orange Book. The Orange Book. And this is going to tell you, okay, well, if you're taking, let's just say you're taking Y drug, is it going to be the same as an X drug or a Z drug? And so the orange book, you'll be able to look up and tell you. So the orange book is very important to know. The orange book. But it's also important to remember that and that's how drugs get approved. And that's how drugs get approved.